Welcome everyone to this week's episode of Jim and Jav. I'm your host, Jim Dempsey. I'm so glad that you're able to be part of this broadcast and that you've reached out to see exactly what we need to be doing to help get fully funded this year. So many of your efforts have to do with relationship building, building friends, building funds, and uh, you really, really, I appreciate that you come here to this channel to seek answers to those questions. And so it means the world to me that you're able to come and join us for the broadcast each week. Well, let's dive right into our question of the week. Our question this week is from Mandy in State College, Pennsylvania. She asks, how long should the introductions be in an event? I have an MC and need to give her everyone's write-up. Well, Mandy, thank you so much for that question. And, you know, it's funny how many times people take that particular issue for granted. We just assume that, well, someone gives you a bio and you just read whatever their bio is, or sometimes you don't even ask for a bio. And uh, we just, you just, well, you know, I met so-and-so and she's a good speaker. I heard she was good. Or like I said, read a bio that is six pages long. Don't even think about the length of the introduction. Don't even factor in that the person's picture and bio is in the program. All those things are so important. Mandy, if I had to give you just a blanket response real quickly, I would say that no bio should be any longer than one minute. Uh, and in fact, it's probably better if it's 30 seconds or less. And I always take every opportunity to tighten up those bios, even if people give me them. I look for the highlights of those bios and I look for opportunities to really cut the introduction so it's not taking long because sometimes you can do a bio and read it and then you have someone who is in the audience who's going to come up and you meet them up there all that takes time I remember one dinner that I attended and they had invited a man to come up and do a testimony and he was an 80 year old man and they asked him to come up and for some reason they placed him in the last row where there were 500 people in the room. This man, it took him, it seemed like an eternity, probably took him three minutes or more to get up to the front. Then they introduced him when they got up there. Before he even started and was supposed to do a three-minute testimony, easily 10 minutes had gone by. It was just a fiasco. I always want to make sure that I'm keeping things as tight as possible. If I've got a connection between, I've got a video and then the executive director of the organization is coming up. Oftentimes what I will do is I will introduce, I will have the MC introduce the executive director, but say, but before the executive director comes up, we're going to watch a short video so that the lights come down, you watch the video, and the executive director makes their way on stage so that when the video ends, immediately lights come up and the executive director is standing on stage. And it is just seamless in the transition. One of the areas that I find can be real traps as well is when you've got people doing testimonies and you introduce multiple testimonies. Well, what happens in a poor situation is you wait for someone, you, you ask someone to come up, you wait for them to come up, you introduce them, you let them speak, then you 
Call someone else up. You introduce them, let them speak. Call someone else up, introduce them, speak. All that really eats into your program time. What I typically do is I will instruct an MC to say, would those individuals who we've asked to come speak today to give share their story, please make their way up. So as they were, make, were, they were making their way up, the MC is reading their bios quickly. And we're talking about two sentences. Uh, the first person you're going to hear from is Susie Jones. She's a student at XYZ University. The next person you're going to hear is John Jackson. He is a student at XYZ University. And then we're going to hear Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Brian Kuhlman. And they are uh, going to share their story of involvement with our organization. And Right there, the minute that's done, those people are arriving on stage and they just go up one after another, no stopping in between. And as soon as they're done, the MC is standing on the side with them just off stage. As each person's going up, the MC comes back up and then introduces the main speaker. Seamless. Everything moves along quickly. So it is so important when you are counting every minute, and if you do the perfect dinner strategy, the one that I do, if you are making sure that you are following every direction for that model, it says specifically you do not want to take any more than two hours and 15 minutes from Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, to good night, ladies and gentlemen, because every minute beyond that is going to cost you $1,000. You cannot afford to lose additional time in introductions of speakers and those people coming up on stage. It's got to be seamless, and it has to mesh very, very evenly. So, Mandy, I hope that helps, and I hope that helps some of our other viewers, and I just really, really appreciate the questions that you have. Uh, we have set up for this channel a new way of getting questions. You go out to fundraisingmasterminds.net forward slash Jim and Java, and there's dashes in between Jim and Java, and Jim, fundraisingmasterminds.net forward slash Jim and Java, and I'll answer your questions on air on a Jim and Java broadcast. So, also, if you want, if you follow me and want to follow me on Instagram, you can do so at Jim W. Dempsey. And you can also join my Life Changers community group at, at Life Changers Community on Facebook. And also, if you want to get further information, please just go out to fundraisingmasterminds.net. So for Jim Dempsey and Jim, Jim and Java program, I wish you the best as you strive to increase your income and become fully funded this year. Thanks a lot. See you in the next broadcast.